What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to talk about starting your business and making that very first dollar. I'm gonna tell you a story before we get into this. It was the year 2000 and I was selling some used office furniture online. I placed the used office furniture on Craigslist. I placed it on eBay. And incidentally enough, I received a question on eBay about the furniture and the guy wanted to know, did I have more? And we began talking and talking and I was like, yeah, I do have more. I'm not putting it up on eBay because you know it's on eBay. So we actually worked a deal offline where he bought like four or five desk sets and he paid pretty decent money. And I remember that day like it was yesterday. It was the most amazing moment to actually make money from something I was doing. And this literally transformed my business from being something that I was interested in, something I was doing, to something I became very dramatically passionate about because I wanna talk about before I made the money. Before I made the money, my business was kind of up work and I was doing other things, but in many regards, my business wasn't real. It was an ideal, it was a concept, but it wasn't real. And then that day when he came and got the furniture, we loaded it up and those dollar bills crossed my palm. That's the day that my business became real. And I'm telling you this story because there are many of you out there who have business concepts, you have ideals, you're working on some stuff, but you haven't made any money. And the longer that you go without making money, the more unreal your business seems, the more this is not what I thought it was gonna be, this isn't the thing that I thought it was going to be, I'm not making any money, I'm working really hard, and it's just not making any money. And there's a, a lot of truth to your business making money. There's a lot of truth to you being engaged in commerce and trading and selling and moving stuff and getting money in return for your efforts. And I remember someone told me this story years and years ago. We were just talking and he said, when I had my first sale, and these were his exact words, he said, my business became real. And I think that's where a lot of people are because we're kind of moving fast forward ahead in the things that you, in talking about business without talking about the critical juncture of getting your business to make money as fast as you can ethically and legally can. Now there's a reason that I use the word ethically and legally because there are some people who don't care how they make money and there are some people who do. Hopefully you're one of the people who cares how you make money. Now what I want you to do is subscribe hit the bell notification and watch this video three or four times. And one of the things that I consistently see in the how to make money space is a lot of talking about the, I don't even know how to classify this, talking about not so much the strategy of how to make money, and I'll tell you that in a minute, but talking about the nuance the nuance of making money, the nuance of putting together something that makes money. Now, one of the things that you have to understand when you create your company or your product or your service, whatever you have to sell, is there a valid need for what you're selling in the current marketplace? I feel that this is a step that many people just skip over and don't really put a lot of effort, time, or energy into because it's, I have this ideal, I have this product, I can do this, I can make money, and they just go with it without doing the long, deep dig in research on, is there, let's talk about TikTok and products. You can go to TikTok and there's a theme, TikTok made me buy it. And there's these videos of items that young people buy. And you consistently see these items or contraptions or things that really don't have 
any dedicated use. This is a remote control. I need this. That's something that came with the television. But you will see a lot of things that there's no philosophical need for these products. These products are, I'll get this product. I think this product's cool. I think it's so snazzy, so I'll buy it. And you, you have a ton of these kind of products in the TikTok space that are selling to young people. And there's a reason that I'm saying TikTok space selling to young people. As you grow and you become a person, you will notice your buying habits change. So the older that you become, you typically buy stuff you need or maybe you want, just depending upon your income. But that age of 18 to about 28 is where a lot of people buy things that they don't need. With these contraptions or items that people made up, these fancy little things, you have a lot of people out here buying this stuff, but it's not going to be, if someone will buy it, there's a market for it. I need to be really clear about that. With a lot of these contraptions, and I say contraptions, there's no long-term need basis. So when you're creating your company, your service or product, you need to know, is there a valid need use for your product? A guy called Dave Ramsey up, he owns a high back HVAC shop that he doesn't really work at. He owns it, he's got a good group of people who manage it, and he's pretty much home most days. And he was like, I had an offer to sell my business for 20 million. Now, once again, let me talk, walk you through this. He has a business that he bought from his former employer, and he set it up where he doesn't have to go in the office. He's home with his kids, he's home with his wife, and at the end of the year, $2 million, flows into his personal account. I want you to think, you got a business that has $2 million cash flow flowing into your personal accounts and you do not have to go to the office. And they talked about it and Dave was like, congratulations, good thing, you did a really good thing. And he still owes the owner, the former owner of the company for about three years. And Dave, I don't think you're gonna sell it because you have no reason to sell it. You have no reason to sell it. Now, where am I going with this? It's heating and air conditioning. People need heating and air conditioning. It's not a one, it's not, oh, I'm just gonna do this. It's, I need an air conditioner, I need a heater. This is a valid need, and this is why a business that is not earth shattering popular, or not something that's very new and iffy, this business is making him $20 million a year, I think. I think it, the business makes him 10 million. I think they were gonna sell it for twice. Once again, it's on Dave Ramsey, the guy that I wanna sell my business, you can find it. When you create a business that sells things that people really need, you have a different level of business and I think it is easier to make your first dollar. Like I said, going all the way back in time, looking at my first business, looking at the business that I put out, looking at the business that I had established, it really became very real, very functional. It became extremely critical once it made money because a lot of my entrepreneur friends out there who have businesses and services, the longer you're in that situation where your business isn't making money, the longer your business isn't real. And I had a friend who literally started a catering business out of her house. She was a fantastic cook. She would make food that was just so delicious. And then one of her friends says, hey, would you cater my party? And then my friend was like, cater your party? What do you mean? She said, could you make such and such dish? She's sure. And she said, but it's gonna needs to be for about 50 people. And she said, oh my, that's a lot. So my friend just cooked it in their home kitchen and she charged this lady 500 bucks on top of what the ingredients cost, right? And uh, she literally made money the first three days of her business. And she was telling me about that. And I was like, how many people come after? She said, all the time, people ask me to do this. I was like, why don't you become a caterer? 
She says, I enjoy my job. I like what I do. I was like, what aspect of the catering part that you have to handle? She says, the cooking, which is also the most time intensive. And I said, okay. So we just started talking and talking and I was like, let's do this. Why don't you go to your job and say, look, I need a few weeks off. I want to test something out. I need to do some stuff. So she went to her job. She got, they gave her up to six months. She said, I don't think I'll need six months. And she started catering. And she sent out a notice to all her friends, no outside traffic. And she sent this notice in the morning and she calls me at three o'clock. She says, I have 10 jobs. I said, that's good. And then we got into the pricing and stuff and everything and she never went back to her job. So her business was very real from jump because it started instantly making money. It started instantly doing well instantly it there was no way there was no trial and error but here's the thing all of the people who had booked her services had tried her food so they knew what they were getting into and her food once again it's delicious it's amazing she's a, an exceptional cook she knows how to put it together so for you my person out there with a business that's not making money I have a few things you should think about. Number one, why isn't your business making money? That's something that you need to spend many days on because there's a reason. There's a reason that your business isn't making money. Maybe your product is crap. Maybe you're not the person to sell that. There, Because once again, I will tell you, you can start a business and the fastest businesses to start to make money instantly are service business, like the heating and air conditioning business or a delivery business. If you have a business that's up running and you're not making money, there's a solid fundamental reason why you're not making money. There is a critical reason why you're making money and you need to discover what that reason is because the longer that you go, and you're working in your business, you're not making money, you're out here watching YouTube videos, you're building up your business credit, you're getting all this other stuff, and you're starting this business, and you're not making money, the longer your business is not real, the longer your business is not substantial, the longer your business is not the thing that you need it to be for you to feel that your business is going to be real. One of the things that you have to do, one of the things that you have to set up is the critical analysis of setting up your business. It's because it's, once again, there are people out there who start businesses, instantly start making money. And there are people who have started multiple businesses that none of these business made a dime. When I was in the military and I was starting all of these businesses, they all failed because they didn't make any money. And one of the reasons, going back to the critical reason that your business isn't making money, is I did not know what I was doing. I had no clue to the things that you needed to do to make a business successful. I had no clue to the things you needed to do to get a business up and running. I had no clue about marketing. I had no clue about sales. I had no clue about management. I, had no, I just didn't know what I was doing. And that was the fundamental reason that all my businesses in the start of the military, and there was five of them, while they all did not do really well because I did not know what I was doing. And that is the fundamentally critical reason that my businesses sucked. You gotta nail that down because once you nail that down, then you open the door to your business making money. You open the door to your business becoming profitable. You open the door to your business becoming real. So if you're one of those people who have a business, you have an idea, you have a concept, and it's just in your mind, in your first mind, you feel that this is a good idea. This is a great idea. It should work, it should work. But the practical reality is your business is not making any money. Go ahead, sit down and take off the cape and humble yourself to the reality because there is a good substantial reason that your business isn't making money. Once again, there's a reason. And once your business makes that first dollar, that's when it becomes real. I don't think people do this anymore, but back in the day, 
you, you go into a business and you could look on the wall and you would see a dollar in the frame. And that was that business's first dollar that they ever made. And they would frame it and hold on to it because that's the moment that their business became real. That's the moment that their business became a real functioning part of society making money. Once again, if your business isn't making money, you have got to do a lot of work to figure out exactly why your business isn't making money. It could be you don't know what you're doing. It could be you need more capital. It could, there, there's a number of things that could be going on with your business to indicate that you need to do something different for your business to make money. All right, so we're getting close to April. I don't know if this is gonna drop in April, if it does, but in April, once again, I want you to subscribe to this channel. I want you to hit the bell notification and I want you to watch this video three or four times. In April, I am gonna start the training all over from scratch. It's, everything's gonna be brand new, everything's gonna be different, and everything's gonna be educational to help you on your road to your first million to make as much money as you can as fast as you possibly can so april this is when it starts i feel that this should come out in march so we should be good for april but i'll start advertising and letting you guys know what's going to drop in april so thank you for coming and hopefully you enjoyed the conversation and we will be talking a lot more in the future